The Wolf Creek Watershed. It is an area of approximately 16 square miles in eastern Lucas County. Wolf Creek itself flows northeast through Oregon and Jerusalem Township, where it empties into Lake Erie just east of the Lakeside Beach at Maumee Bay State Park. It's no secret that water flowing into Lake Erie has been under intense public scrutiny. Headlines and leading news often focus upon the quality of our drinking water and the suitability of swimming at Lake Erie beaches. While agriculture and municipal sewage overflows are thought to be the key components to Lake Erie's infamous algal blooms, other watershed pollution creates additional concerns. There are an estimated 12,000 septic systems in use throughout Lucas County. They are used at homes and businesses that are not connected to municipal sanitary sewer systems. When they overflow or fail over time, they too release untreated sewage into the Maumee Bay watershed. A 2004 joint study conducted by the University of Toledo and the United States Geological Survey concluded that Wolf Creek is the likely source of E. coli bacterial contamination at Maumee Bay State Park, which averages 20 days per year of swim advisory postings. This is a look at your home's wastewater treatment system and how its maintenance and upkeep will benefit you and the community we share in Lake Erie's Western Basin. A properly functioning septic system takes advantage of microbes in the soil to digest and remove bacteria from wastewater before it eventually reaches groundwater. Here's how it works. A pipe carries wastewater from your home to an underground tank. The septic tank holds the wastewater until solid matter settles into a sludge and until grease and oils form into a surface scum. As new wastewater enters the tank, the partially treated wastewater flows out into a leach field through a series of underground pipes. As the water is pushed along the system, microbes naturally present in the soil digest harmful bacteria, viruses, and nutrients. This is the final treatment, and clean water eventually percolates to the groundwater. While septic systems do not last forever, there are common symptoms of failure and common causes. They can be costly to repair, and proper maintenance and use will help prevent premature failure. It all comes down to what you do or don't put down your drains, and how much of it. When the amount of household water entering the system is too much, wastewater backs up. It either comes back into your house because the tank is overwhelmed, or pools on the surface because the leach field is saturated. In either case, this is untreated sewage and presents an environmental health hazard. Limiting water use reduces the amount of wastewater entering your septic system. There are numerous ways to do this. Using high efficiency toilets and faucets, repairing or replacing leaking fixtures and flush valves, and staggering laundry days. Your septic system contains living organisms. These are the microbes that clean the wastewater from your home or business. Many household cleaners are harmful to these microbes and their use should be limited if dumping down the drain. Flammable liquid should never go down a household drain. Solids other than human waste and bathroom tissue should not be flushed. Garbage disposals? Their use can fill your septic tank with solids 50% faster. Regular cleaning and inspection of your septic tank will help prevent costly repair. A good rule of thumb Septic tanks should be pumped out by a registered septic hauler at least every three to five years. The only thing that should be on top of the surface area of the leach field is grass. Don't plant trees or shrubs. Also, don't drive or park on the leach field and keep roof drains, basement sumps, and surface water drainage away. Keep in mind that failed septic systems affect our water quality. Signs of a failed septic system may include unusual ponding in the yard, noticeable sewage odor, trouble flushing the toilet, and slow household drains. It is important to know your septic system and how it works. Even if your septic system does not show any obvious signs of failure, it is important to keep your system maintained and to make sure your system is not affecting our water quality. 
Maybe you've just bought a house and aren't sure what kind of sewage treatment you have. Or maybe you don't know where your septic tank is. The Toledo Lucas County Health Department is here to help. For free assistance, call us at 419-213-4100.